reason why I'm, I'm bringing forth this message today is to tell people, those that claim to be Christian, they claim to have knowledge. They claim, that's all you have is claim. My message today is, humanity will not understand the, the divinity or the deity of God. Humanity will not understand the deity of God. And a lot of people don't understand the Trinity. A lot of people don't understand the Godhead. A lot of people don't understand God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. A lot of people don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. Hey, glory to God. A lot of people don't believe that the Holy Spirit is God, the Father is God, the Son is God. And if you deny the Son, you don't have the Father. Hallelujah. And if you deny the Son, you are an antichrist and you are not a Christian. So my message today is to, is to, to debunk the people that don't understand about the Trinity. Don't understand about the Godhead. Don't understand about the God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. My friend, the, the Bible, if you don't understand the Old Testament, you can't understand the New Testament. Amen. Because when the Bible said, let us make man in our own image, hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. One of the disciples asked Jesus, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, show us the Father, and it will suffice, suffice us. Jesus Christ told him, have I been so long time with you, and that you, you have not seen me? When you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Amen. So I'm telling somebody right now, my friend, humanity will not understand the, the, the divinity the deity of God because the carnal man can understand the spiritually because they're spiritual discern and there are a lot of people my friend hey go to God you have book knowledge hey go to God you have knowledge according to the flesh but not a knowledge according to the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit search the deep things of God if you don't have the Holy Spirit you're using your brain Hey, glory to God. You're not using the Spirit of God. And if you have the Holy Spirit, my friend, you will understand not limit God of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Hey, glory to God. And a lot of people, my friend, hallelujah, they're using their divine. They're using their humanity to understand the divinity of God. Hey, glory to God. I don't care if you're a celebrity. Hey, glory to God. If you can understand this, because my friend, you think that glory to God, you open a Bible and you you trying to reason with your carnal sense, and you can't understand it on a fleshly. You gotta be spiritually, my friend, because a Bible is for the spiritual people, and you can't use the Bible like you're using any other book. The Bible is a holy book. It's for holy people. You must be a whole, whole understand to a holy divine. So a lot of people, they don't understand the Godhead. They don't understand, my friend, when Jesus Christ said, glory to God, only the Father. No, Jesus Christ is the Father. He told, he told them, glory to God, in Isaiah, the, the ninth chapter, hey, glory to God, the Bible say, the everlasting Father, the mighty God. And a lot of people don't believe, they trying to think Jesus Christ was a creature. Jesus Christ was a creator. And if you're trying to lesser God, my friend, you are you are not a Christian. Hallelujah. My friend, God, God the Father, and God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, the, the Father gave every authority to the Son. Hey, glory to God. It, the Bible says, if you don't honor the Father, you can't honor the Son. Jesus Christ have seven I am's, glory to God. He said, I am the door, I am the gate. Come on now, I am the vine, I am the water. So Jesus Christ, my friend, he told him, before Abraham was, I am. 
and glory to God. Let's say, Gia, you're not yet 50 years old. How can you say you yet? You say, glory to God. Abraham rejoiced to see my day and saw it. Hey, glory to God. Woo! Hallelujah. They say, hallelujah. Jesus Christ say, your sin is forgiven. They, they say, how can a man, how can a man forgive sin? Hey, glory to God. Woo! Hallelujah. I come to tell somebody, my friend, humanity can understand the divinity of God. That's why, my friend, this young lady, glory to God, she on YouTube says she don't believe the Trinity. You know why you don't believe the Trinity? Because you already sold your soul to the devil. Hey, glory to God. That's why you can't do, you can't understand the divine side of God because this thing, my friend, was not down the corner. This thing, you got to be spiritual. Hey, glory to God. You can't understand it through your feeble mind, through your feeble understanding. You got to understand it through divine. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got to be spiritual. You got to have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, my friend, you can't understand the things of spirit because they are spiritual discerned. The Bible says the flesh war against the spirit and spirit against the flesh. These are contrary one to another. I try to tell people, my friend, the reason why people don't understand the Bible because the Bible for holy people. The Bible is for people that love God. Hey, glory to God. So you're trying to understand the Bible through your fable mind. You will never understand the Bible through your fable mind. Hey, glory to God. Ha. Ah, ooh, hallelujah. Glory to God. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody need to recognize that you can't understand the Bible unless you are spiritual. The Bible for spiritual people. Amen. And if you are not spiritual, you will, not, you will never understand the Bible. You will stumble in verses. You will stumble in I and my Father are one. You will stumble that say God, God uh, the Father greater than the Son. You will stumble, my friend. I'm talking about God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is God. And if you understand Jesus Christ is God, my friend, you will stumble. You will fall. Hey, glory to God. You must understand that God is God. And if you don't understand God, amen. Amen. You must understand that God is God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. These threes are one. Amen. I'm talking about God. The reason why people don't understand God, because my friend, they're not spiritual. Amen. The, the problem, you think you got a degree, you think you know more, you, th you think you, know, you, you need more, you, you know more than the Bible. You don't know more, more than the Bible. Hey, glory to God, the Bible is a spiritual book. Amen. The Bible is a spiritual book. Well, I say the Bible is a spiritual book. So you must understand that God, Jesus Christ, is God. And if you understand Jesus Christ is God, you'll never understand. That's why people are struggling understanding the Trinity. Why are they struggling to understand the Trinity? Because they don't, they're not spiritually minded. Jesus Christ is God. Amen. And and Jesus Christ, glory to God, he told, that's why the Pharisees scribe, they want to stone him every time he opened his mouth. Hallelujah. They want to stone Jesus. Amen. They say we are Moses' disciples. We are not Jesus' disciple. Oh, glory to God. Jesus Christ said, if you if you know if you know God, if you know Abraham, glory to God, you should know. You should if, if God was your father, he glory to God, you'll understand my word. And a lot of people, my friend, they understand the book through carnality. Because the Bible, hallelujah, is a spiritual book for spiritual people. And if you're not spiritual, my friend, you will never understand the Bible. That's why people struggle with this trinity. Hey, man, you struggle with this trinity because you don't understand the language of the Bible. The language of the Bible, my friend, hey, glory to God. Let me give you one verse, my friend. Let me give you one verse. The Bible, let me give you one verse. Hey, glory to God. Listen, one verse. In verse number nine, hey, glory to God. Uh, 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 Colossians chapter two, verse nine. He said, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Who? 
They talk about Jesus. And verse, verse, uh, listen, listen, listen. Verse 8 say, Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, at the rudiment of the world, and not after Christ. Listen to me, my friend. Hey, verse 5 say, For for though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit, joyful and beloved, and, and beholding your order and steadfast of your faith in Christ. So people that don't understand the language of the Bible, you will keep on stumbling. Because verse number nine, nine say, For in him dwell all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So I tell him, people, my friend, the reason why people are struggling or stumbling in the Trinitarian doctrine because you can't understand. You're trying to limit God. You limiting God. What you doing? You are limiting God. God, my friend, hey, go to God. God walked on water. God, hallelujah, raised Lazarus from the dead. God, hallelujah, Lord. God raised himself from the dead. Oh, God. He told Pilate, Pilate, you can't take this life. I got power to lay down and have power to take it up again. Hey, glory to God. Jesus Christ, God gave, God the Father gave all authority to the Son. And Jesus Christ said, hey, listen, listen, Acts chapter 2, my friend. I'm going to tell you that Jesus Christ is God because, my friend, when you look at Acts chapter 2, hey, glory to God, hallelujah. And the Bible say, hallelujah, in verse, Acts chapter 1, verse 11, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up in heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in like manner as ye see him go into heaven. So some of y'all looking for uh, God the Father. God the Father is Jesus. God the Son is Jesus. And God the Holy Ghost is Jesus. Oh, glory. What you saying, preacher? I'm saying y'all looking for three gods, but I'm looking for one. The Bible says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. Hey, glory to God. Woo, hallelujah. And y'all can't understand it, my friend. Hallelujah. Y'all can't. You know what I can't understand it? Y'all can't understand it because y'all are spiritual. You got to be spiritual. Hey, you got to have the Holy Ghost. Some of y'all got the shout. Some of y'all got the tongue and you don't have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, my friend, is a person. What it is, it's not no liquid. It's not no radar beam. It's not no female spirit. It's not Mary. But the Holy Ghost is God. So if you don't have God, you will not understand the language of the Bible. Hallelujah. I don't care your celebrity. Hey, glory to God. You got to get the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You got to get Christ. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. What I'm saying? Humanity will not understand the deity. Hallelujah. Of God. Look at look at St. John, the sixth chapter. They, they thought Jesus Christ was talking about drinking his blood literally and eating his flesh literally. Hey, but Jesus Christ was talking about spiritual things. He was talking about going to Calvary. He was talking about shedding his blood for your sin and my sin. Ooh. 